Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to talk about how to find subrectangular sum in immutable two-dimensional array. By immutable, I mean that once the elements in the two-dimensional array is initialized, the values will never change. This is the question from lead code. So for example, uh, we could be asked to answer what is the sum in the rectangle starting from 1, 0. So 1, 0 is a top left corner and 2, 1 is a top uh, bottom right corner. So uh, 1, 0 till 2, 1. So what is the sum in this rectangle? So sum in this rectangle is 18. Another, another query could be, what is a, a sum in the rectangle starting with two, uh, 0, 2, so starting at 0, 2 and ending at 2, 3, so ending at 2, 3. So what is the sum in this rectangle? And the sum in this rectangle is 10, uh, is uh, 12. So how do we do it? We are going to use dynamic programming to solve this question. Next, let's see how. So the thing with this question is, since the input two-dimensional array is immutable, we can do some upfront work and calculate this uh, result two-dimensional array, and then we can answer the query in constant time. So first we do is we take this uh, two-dimensional array where the number of rows and number of columns here is one more than the total number of rows and total number of columns in my original matrix. Why we have one more row and one more column? Because it adds simplicity in writing code. So what is, what is the square in this matrix going to store? So for example, 4, 4 here is going to store what is the sum of the rectangle starting from 0, 0 till 3, 3. So 4, 4 is storing sum of the rectangle whose top left is 0, 0 and bottom right is 3, 3 as the number of rows and columns is one more here. Similarly, 3, 2 is going to track what is the sum of the rectangle starting from 0, 0 and 2, 1. So sum of this rectangle and so on. So next, let's fill up this rectangle. So first we fill up the 0th row and 0th column all with the values 0. So then we are going to fill up this value T, 1, 1. When we are filling up value t11, what we are looking for is what is the sum of the rectangle whose top left is 0, 0 and bottom right is 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, so all again 0, 0. So pretty much this value here. So that value is 2. Then I'm going to fill up the value 1, 2. When we are filling up 1, 2, we are looking for sum of the rectangle 0, 0 till 1 minus 1, so 0, 2 minus 1, so 1. So basically this rectangle here and to get that value we just add 0 with the previous value so this is again 2. Then to, for filling up 1 3 basically this rectangle here we add the previous this value the left value 2 with uh, minus uh, 3 so this becomes minus 1. And finally, for 1, 4, we, uh, we add minus 1 with 4, so this value becomes 3. So this is how we filled up our first row. Similarly, I'll quickly fill up the first column. So for filling up the first column for value 2, 1, we are looking for the rectangular starting from 0, 0 till 1, 0. So this value here. So this is uh, 2 plus this value here, which is 6, so 8. Similarly, for 3, 1, we are looking for some two, uh, uh, rectangular uh, whose bottom right is 2, 0. So 8 plus this value here, 5, so that is 13. And finally, for this is uh, 13 plus uh, this value 2 is 15. So now we have filled up our uh, first row and first column. Now for filling up rest of the values, we are going to use this uh, this formula here and I'm going to explain what this means. So we are going to fill this value 2, 2, this guy here. So when I say 2, 2, what I mean is I'm looking for sum of the matrix starting from uh, sum of the rectangle starting from 0, 0 and ending at 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, so 1, 1. So this value, this guy here. So we are looking for the sum of this matrix. So for that, remember we have already calculated what is the sum of this matrix, this, this subrectangle, and we have already calculated what is the sum of this subrectangle. 
So we're going to see how we're going to use that information to get the sum of the entire rectangle. So first we do is we add, start with 3. So this value 3. So that value here is matrix of i minus 1, j minus 1. When I'm filling this value here, matrix of i minus 1, j minus 1 means this 3. Then I'm going to get the sum of the re this rectangle. To get that, I look at t of i, j minus 1. So t of i, j minus 1, so this value here, 8, gives me the sum of this rectangle. Then I'm going to get the sum of this rectangle. Sum of this rectangle is t of i minus 1j, which, which is this value 2. So what happened here is I added this with the sum of this rectangle and then sum of this rectangle. So in this, what, we add, what happened was we added this common section between this rectangle and this rectangle two times. And what we have to do is we have to subtract it once. And that value here is t of i minus 1, j minus 1, which this which value is also true, which the value for which is also 2. So this ends up becoming 11. So this is 11. So as you can see, in constant time, just using the values from the left uh, and top and diagonal for a square, I can calculate what is the sum. So again, if you look at it, 6 plus 2 plus 3 is 11, which is the value we derived from this formula. Let's look around one more example. So let's see 2, 3, this value here. So when, I'm, when I say 2, 3, I'm looking for sum from 0, 0 till 2 minus 1, so 1, and 3 minus 1, so 2. So we are looking for sum of this rectangle. Okay? So again, we're going to use the value from the left and value from the top. So first we take this value 2, which is this matrix i minus 1, j minus 1. So 2 plus, we know the sum of this rectangle. The sum of this rectangle is the value at the top, which is minus 1. Also we know the sum of this rectangle. The sum of this rectangle is stored right here, which is 11. And now, this rectangle and this rectangle has this part here which is common which is added twice and we have to get rid of it once and that value that the sum of that is my 2 so minus 2 so ultimately this ends up being so this 2 and this 2 cancel each other and this value is 10 so this rectangle is 10 and let's just verify 2 plus 6 is 8 8 plus 3 is uh, 11 uh, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 2 is uh, uh, 13, and 13 minus 3 is 10, which is the value we came up with. Finally, let's fill up this value 2, 4. So again, we are looking for 1, sum starting from 0, 0, and 1, 3. Again, we use this formula. So first, we start with minus 1, whatever is the value in this, uh, in this square. Then we get the sum of this rectangle, sum of this rectangle we just calculated, the value was 10. Then we get the sum of this rectangle, which is the value at the top, which is 3. And then we are going to subtract the sum of this rectangle, which is minus 1. So this ends up becoming, this one and this one cancel each other, so this value becomes 30. And let's just quickly validate. So 2 plus 6, 8, 11, 15, uh, 8, 11, uh, 13, 17, and then minus 1, 16, minus 3, 13. So that value is 13. So next, let's fill up this remaining two rows quickly. So now we are filling up this uh, value 3, 2, which means that we are interested in this, this rectangle. So again, starting from 0, 0 till 2, 1, which is uh, 3, 2 in this square here. So again, for that, we get the sum of this rectangle, get the sum of this rectangle, add them, add this value, and subtract the common part. Because the common part is repeated twice. So 13 plus 11 plus, uh, uh, plus value 4 and then minus 8. So this value is uh, 13 plus 11 is 24. 24 plus 4 is 28. Minus 8 is 20. So this value becomes 20. Let's fill up this value. So to fill up this value, we'll add these two guys. So 
20 plus 10 plus this value 7 and subtract this value which is 11. So again 30, 30 plus 7, 37, 37 minus 11, 26. So this value becomes 26. Again we are just using this formula for quickly filling up the values. And finally this value here, so 26 plus 13 plus 3 and minus 10. So 26 plus 13 is uh, 39, 39 minus 10 is 29 plus 3 is 32. So this value is 32. And finally these three values, so this is 15 plus 20 minus 13 plus uh, uh, minus 6. So this value becomes uh, 35. 35 minus uh, 13 is uh, 22 and 22 minus uh, 6 is uh, 16. So this value becomes 16. Let's just quickly validate it. So 2 plus uh, 8, 8 plus 3, 11. 11 plus 5, 16. 16 plus 4, 20. 20 plus 2, 22. 22 minus 6 is uh, 20, 16, which is the value we derived. This value here is uh, 16 plus 26 minus 20 plus 8. So 16 plus 26 is uh, 36. 36 plus 6 is 42. 42 plus 8 is 50. Minus 20 is 30. And finally, this value. So now we are looking for the sum of this entire rectangle. Again, to get the sum, we get the sum of this guy. We get the sum of this guy and uh, add them with this value, so 30 plus 32 uh, plus 1 and then subtract the common section 1 and the common section value is 26. So this and this cancel, so we are left with 6, 36 and 37. So this value is 37. So hopefully this explains you uh, how I'm filling up this rectangle using the values from the left, top, and diagonally. So the time complexity for building this rectangle is O of m plus n. Next, let's see how we are going to do a query once this, uh, this result matrix is built. We are going to perform these two queries using this formula for calculating the sum. So first query is we are looking for this rectangle starting from 1, 1. So starting from 1, 1 all the way to 3, 2. So 3, 2. So we are interested in the sum of this rectangle. So first we do is we convert it, this numbers, uh, so that it works with this matrix. So basically adding 1 to them. So 2, 2 till 4, 3. Okay. So first let's go to 4, 3. So 4, 3 value is 30. What does this 30 mean? 30 means the sum of the rectangle starting from 0, 0 all the way till 3, 2. So sum of this entire thing is 30. So this value is t row to column 2. Then what we're going to do is, uh, by the way, uh, row 1 is this value, uh, column 1 is this value, row 2 is this value, column 2 is this value. So the values here is uh, coming from these guys. So we got the sum of the entire thing, but we are only interested in the sum of this, uh, this rectangle. So what we have to do is, we have to subtract the sum of this rectangle and we have to subtract the sum of this rectangle. So what we are left with is the sum of this rectangle, but this common section got subtracted twice, so we have to add it back once again. So that's what this formula is doing. This row to, uh, row to column 2 is sum of everything uh, till here. Row 1 minus 1 column is the sum of this guy. Row 2 column 1 minus 1 is the sum of this guy. So we subtract them out to get this, but the common section got subtracted twice. So we are adding it back again with 2 of t of row 1 minus 1 column 1 minus 1. So again, so 30 minus uh, row 2 column 1 minus 1. So that value will be 15. 
minus uh, t of row one, one uh, row one minus one column two, so that value will be minus one, so minus of minus one, and then plus t of row one minus one column one minus one, so row one column one is uh, two two, so one one, so this value is two. So ultimately, this value will become thirty minus uh, fifteen um, plus one plus two, so this value is eighteen. And if you add it up, this value will also come out to be 18. Let's see another example. So first, let's convert this into this value. So 1, 3, 2, 4, 4. Again, row 1, column 1, row 2, column 2. So 4, 4 is, 30, uh, 4, 4 is 37. So 0, 2, 2, 3, t is, uh, we are interested in the sum of this rectangle. So first we started with the sum of the entire uh, sum of the entire rectangle, so that's 37. Then we subtract the sum of this rectangle. So the sum of this rectangle here is 16. Then we subtract the sum of the rectangle above this. So basically this is where we have used this zeroth column and zeroth row. If we had not used this special zeroth row and zeroth column, when we did uh, uh, when we did row one minus one column, this row one was uh, row one was value uh, value one, and if we had sticked if we had kept it zero, then we would have a minus one, and then we have to deal with that, those special conditions, which is why this zeroth rows and zeroth column of value zero is very uh, makes uh, code very simple. So we subtract zero, and then we do row one minus one column one minus one. So again, we are looking for value 0, 2, so that value is also 0. So finally, this value comes out to be 21. So 21 is the sum of the rectangle starting from uh, 0, 2 to 3, 3. So sum of this rectangle. So as you can see, time complexity for doing one query is O of 1, which is constant time. Next, let's look at the code for this algorithm. This algorithm is extremely simple. In the constructor, we take in the matrix, get the rows and columns of this matrix, and then create our new matrix T, where the number of rows and number of columns is one more. Then we loop through this new matrix, and then set the value T i j as we discussed before in the video, which is T of i minus 1 j plus T of i j minus 1 plus matrix of i minus 1 j minus 1 minus t of i minus 1 j minus 1 here t of i minus 1 j minus 1 is that common area which has been added twice so we subtract it once and once this t of ij is ready then we get this uh, query some region and in this row 1 column 1 represents the top left corner and row 2 column 2 represents the bottom right corner so first we increment their value by 1 since our t matrix uh, has size one great, uh, one more than the original matrix and then we apply this other formula which we discussed before in the video where t uh, uh, row 2 column 2 minus t of row minus 1 column 2 minus t of row 2 column minus 1 plus uh, t of row minus 1 column minus 1 and this will give us the range between uh, this will give us the sum between row 1 column 1 to row 2 column 2. So this is all I have to talk about this algorithm. Please like this video, share this video, check out my Facebook page and check out my GitHub link. Thanks again for watching this video.